these five cryptocurrencies, I believe, have a great chance to make some gains for investors in the month of May. I am personally invested in all of these coins, and I think that they have got a lot of potential and great futures ahead of them. So in this video, I will break down what those coins are and why I am paying attention to them in the month of May. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency. So if that is a topic you would like to learn some more about, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and of course, click on the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So let's go ahead and turn right over to it. Just a quick disclaimer for you as well before we begin. No one has paid me to talk about any of these coins. I do personally own all of these coins. And this video should not suffice to be your due diligence. This is just a quick overview of certain coins and why I'm bullish on them. You still need to go out and put in the hard work. It's your money, your responsibility, your investments. So act like it and get out there, put in the work. If something I talk about today sounds interesting to you, you still need to go and research it before clicking on the buy button. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first coin here, which is Ramp DeFi. Now, I've been bullish on Ramp for a long time now. I've been talking about it here on the channel since Ramp was at like four cents or something like that. Obviously, we've come up quite a bit since then. Now, even though we are up a lot today on Ramp, which is obviously nice to see, we do have to keep in perspective that I think a lot of people might have gotten washed out of their positions over the last uh, month or so because we did top out at $1.01. We're down 36% from that time in late March. Now we're starting to move back up. Essentially what we saw for ramp was a bit of a distribution phase, big pump. People start exiting their positions who've been in it since four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cents, distributing it out, taking profits. People come in, buy the tops, panic sell. You guys know how it works. Well, Ramp is now actually moving to a situation where its main products are coming out now, which we'll talk about in just a second. But I still think that Ramp has a lot of gas left in the tank. I could honestly see this still doing a 10x, potentially more during this bull run. My target for this has kind of been around $5. We'll see, of course, what plays out over time, but that's my tentative target at the moment. But a 10x will put us around $6.50, which also would really not be that crazy for ramp because that would put it in a top 100 position based on current prices, of course, the entire market's going up. So it may not end up being a top 100, although I definitely think it's a top 100 potential coin, but that it will get that market cap of, let's say, $1.7 billion, which would put it right up here with some of the biggest coins in crypto, like Wire and Finance, the Decentraland, Basic Attention Token, and also be a good replacement to some of the garbage coins like Bitcoin Gold that also find itself in the top 100 rankings. Now, recently, Ramp announced that they have launched the RUSD Mentor. Now, in case you're not familiar with Ramp, I need to tell you what Ramp does. So Ramp is a liquid staking protocol. So basically the idea is that you have a coin or maybe a liquidity pool token that you're staking somewhere and you're getting your 10%, your 20%, whatever your awards might be, but the rest of your capital is locked up. Well, what Ramp lets you do is take that capital, take those staking coins that you have, lock them up with ramp and in exchange for your stake. Now you're still going to get your staking rewards. That's very important to point out. You get your staking rewards plus they give you RUSD in return. So that is a dollar stable coin. So you can take those dollars, buy more of your coins, stake them, double your rewards and staking. For example, you can also do something like throw all that stable coin into a yield farm somewhere and make 20, 30% a year on some uh, yield farming opportunity. Maybe you take a safe play and drop it into BlockFi and earn 8.6% on your USDC, for example. You can double, triple, quadruple your yearly yield and still get the staking rewards for whatever network coin that you're staking. This is a big potential product here. Again, I think that this could easily be a top 100 coin. So I've been very excited about Ramp for a while. And I'm super excited, of course, to see the product going live. Now, this I think is important to take note of here because now that their product is live, 
it means actual revenue is going to start coming into the token. Now, the staking rewards, by the way, have been pretty crazy. In fact, if you're staking ramp on Ethereum right now, it's 38.8% APR. That's crazy. But, but what I think is most important here and gives the potential for the price to move up is that we have a real product now that every day people are going to be staking, getting those RUSD tokens. Tokens are going to be burnt over time. Now we actually see a real DeFi product with a real revenue model with bringing those tokenomics into play finally. So I think now we're actually going to see ramp taking off before the launch of the RUSD Minter that happened a few days ago. Ramp was still in that like, oh, what's going on with this token kind of phase? Now the product's out. Now it's going to get ready to go up to the freaking moon and, of course, join in the position of being one of the top DeFi protocols. I don't think it's going to be at rank 294 for a very long time. Again, I think this is a top 100 potential coin. By the way, if you want to get a bit of an edge on the market, then you need to check out Wealth Mastery. It is the weekly investor report that my team and I publish. Every single issue of Wealth Mastery, you're going to get a trending coin analysis, a deep dive altcoin report, in-depth technical analysis, an interview with an industry leader, the hottest token sales, a step-by-step -step DeFi tutorial, and much, much more. All of that for less than 10 bucks a week making this the most value-packed and at the same time the most affordable investor report on the market. Click on the link down below me here in the description where you can learn more and get signed up to become a member today. Now let's move on to the second coin. And of course, that is Polygon. Oh my gosh, Matic has been absolutely freaking crazy. I've been talking about it a lot over the last few months. And I don't think that Polygon is finished either. Now we could have a bit of a cooling off phase. That would be a natural situation. Let's keep it real. Over the last 14 days, Polygon is up 122%. That's a lot of gains. So a cooling off period for Matic is coming. So be ready for that. It's a good opportunity if you do see that cool off period happen. I think a lot of people have already come in and taken a bit of profits. In fact, we had an all time high of 93 cents for the Matic token, which is absolutely crazy. Now, why has Polygon been going so crazy? Because Polygon has been absolutely slaying it when it comes to adoption. Most of the major decentralized finance protocols are now working with Polygon. Oh, sure, there's a few big outliers like Uniswap. Come on, Uniswap. Wire and Finance. Come on, Wire and Finance. What are you guys doing? But some of the biggest ones, SushiSwap, Curve Finance, Aave, we also have some NFT players coming in like OpenSea. This is big stuff. Polygon is absolutely nailing it out as the premier layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. So it's been incredibly successful and the network has been going crazy. We're up to like a million transactions a day right now, which is incredible. Now, why am I bullish on Polygon? Well, because Polygon is launching a $100 million fund to support DeFi adoption. Now, we already have Polygon working with, as mentioned, some of the biggest DeFi protocols out there. I mean, we're doing a million transactions per day on Polygon. We have Aave, which has now $2 billion in liquidity locked on Polygon. So that's Ethereum layer two, 2 billion in liquidity on one major DeFi protocol. This is showing that layer two is actually succeeding. Ethereum is actually scaling. This is big stuff. And an extra hundred million dollars on top of that to support DeFi adoption. That's incredible. That is going to bring a lot of new projects, a lot of new high quality projects coming into the Polygon ecosystem. So this is really big and exciting to see. I think that Polygon will continue to do very, very well over the coming months. In fact, I think it's actually quite undervalued. And even if we do have a bit of a, a correction, a cooling off phase after this insane run up that we've just had, you have to keep it real. The market cap right now it's only $4.8 billion. Now, if we look here and we see some of the other stuff that is in the top 
50 coins. In fact, look at this Ethereum Classic worth over $5 billion. Come on, man. Polygon should definitely be ahead of Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic has no users, no applications, and doing like 30 to 40,000 transactions per day, whereas Polygon's complete opposite million transactions per day, tons of applications, tons of users. We go up here and, of course, look at some of the other stuff. Now, Solana has been doing really, really good. They're at a $12 million market cap right now. A lot of applications are coming in. A lot of people are getting very excited about Solana. But here's an interesting little secret. There is currently more value locked in Polygon DeFi than on Solana. In fact, by uh, quite a few magnitudes more, meaning there are more people using po po Polygon right now and that there are more uh, applications built on Polygon. There's more money flowing around Polygon than Solana. Now, it's not to say that Solana is bad, but that Polygon, by contrast, is undervalued. The next coin we're going to talk about is E. Ethernity. Now, Ethernity, this is an NFT play. NFTs have been going crazy really all year, and there's been some pretty big ups, some pretty big downs in NFT coins. But Ethernity Chain is definitely one that I've had on my radar because they're working with some incredibly big celebrities bringing NFTs to the blockchain. Now, look, celebrities, they can go anywhere. They can use any platform. But what Ethernity is doing they are ensuring that the NFTs that you're buying are legitimate. Now, fraud has been a massive, massive problem in the NFT space. I'm regularly seeing stories about artists who are coming out and saying, hey, WTF, who is selling my artwork as NFTs? And it happens all the time because, of course, the scammers have clicked onto the fact that you can pretend to be a famous artist, download images of their art, and then go and sell that art on the marketplaces and get away with it because the chances of getting caught are relatively low. And so then you buy what you think is an art piece from a famous artist or maybe from a celebrity that you like. And in the end, you've bought a piece of fraudulent garbage, right? So you were trying to buy Armani and instead you bought a Moppy. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want the real things. The NFT space is so highly speculative anyway. The last thing you want to be doing is buying freaking fraudulent NFTs, which again, that's where Ethereum Chain comes in because they're bringing real NFTs for real celebrities. Now, they've had a few very big ones over the last couple days. This one is a Muhammad Ali NFT. So this is a one out of one NFT. Now, this NFT also came with a physical pair of Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves signed by Muhammad Ali himself. So not only do you get this amazing NFT, but you also get the boxing gloves, which is pretty gosh darn amazing. That went for around $220,000 at the time of sale. So that's a very high quality NFT sale that happened on Ethernity. These are just some of their first sales that we're seeing here. We also saw one uh, that's coming for the world famous football player, Pele. So he is also doing an NFT with Eternity. So this is really big stuff. I also saw uh, Shaquille O'Neal tweeting about Eternity the other day. So my guess would be we're going to see some Shaq NFTs coming up pretty soon. These are big name celebrities. And Maybe you're not super bullish on the NFT space, but I am bullish on the NFT space. I think that owning the pick and shovel coins like Ethernity could be very, very good. My personal goal where I want to see Ethernity is up to $100. That would put it around a $1 billion market cap. So that is my personal target for it. And I think if they keep bringing out these uh, high quality NFTs with some pretty big celebrity names like this, then we could actually see that happening. Now, the fourth coin we want to talk about today is, of course, Polkadot. No, I have not forgotten about Polkadot. I know I haven't been talking about it a lot recently, but I have not sold a single freaking dot. Still got all the Polkadot. Still very bullish on the Polkadot ecosystem overall. Now, what's going on right now is we're in this kind of lull phase where Parachains haven't launched yet, and everybody's freaking waiting for the parachains to launch. Come on, Gavin. Parachains, man. Parachains. Let's get it done. Of course, they're coming to Kusama first, Polkadot after that. 
but the Polkadot ecosystem remains one of the most bullish ecosystems outside of Ethereum, and I guess probably BSC, and maybe Polygon, but it's definitely one of the top five ecosystems, definitely a top five ecosystem. Very excited about what Polkadot is building, and when parachains do launch, that is the magic moment. That's when everything goes crazy for Polkadot, because that means all of a sudden, you have a real ecosystem with real users, real applications, things actually start happening. Now, why am I bullish on Polkadot moving into this month? Well, because at the end of the month, we have Polkadot Dakota. Now, it's a two-day uh, conference focused on Polkadot. Now, what tends to happen with these events? We do tend to see a bit of a price run-up. Before these events happen, we see it happen with XRP, we see it happen with Cardano, we see it happen with uh, Stellar Lumens before they have these conferences. We tend to get a bunch of people chattering, a bunch of rumors starting to fly around. So we could see a bit of price excitement moving into this, but more than that short-term little price bump that we may get from this conference, what I'm excited about is what they're actually gonna talk about at Polkadot Decoded, because they're probably going to release some nice little juicy nuggets in terms of information. So I'm watching to see what they actually announce here. Maybe we'll get some firm dates for when we see those parachains coming out. We'll probably see some very exciting announcements about the development of Polkadot, about the ecosystem of Polkadot. So very excited about this. Definitely something to keep on your radar in terms of an event. And of course, if you are a big Polkadot fan, then you should go and check out Polkadot Decoded as well if you have some spare time on your hands. And the fifth coin for today, it's Litecoin. Come on, Litecoin. Just gotta show my Litecoin bags here, you know. Litecoin. It's the right coin. Well, you know, like Litecoin is Litecoin, and it's um, always played second fiddle, third fiddle, maybe even fourth or fifth fiddle to a, a Bitcoin. But you have to keep in mind, Litecoin does have the pumpamental factors, because love it or hate it, Litecoin continues to get included at all of the conversations and all the platforms. I mean, come on, PayPal is selling. Litecoin. Venmo is selling Litecoin. Robinhood is selling Litecoin. Litecoin Grayscale Trusts. We're probably going to have Litecoin ETFs before the majority of other ETFs come into play because it's a, a safe coin. And you have to keep in mind, Litecoin, it's also a cheap coin. 273 bucks a coin, the time of recording this video, versus what? 50, 66, 57, 58,000, 59,000, whatever the price of Bitcoin might be at the moment, that's a big difference, right? You can get 10 Litecoin or 0 0.1 Bitcoin or whatever, right? It's, it's, it's a big difference psychologically for investors. And I know, I know the per unit price doesn't actually make that big of a difference to things, nor does the actual circulating supply of the coins and all that stuff. The biggest thing, of course, is the market cap. But we are entering into a phase of the market where rationality doesn't always apply. Why? Well, let's talk about Ethereum fricking Classic. Now, Ethereum Classic has been pumping. We can see it's up 52% in the last seven days. Now, this is surprising because Ethereum Classic, as I mentioned earlier, it has almost no users. There's almost nothing built on Ethereum Classic. It is just, I don't know why it's still in the top 100, let alone at position number 32. In 2020, it got 51% attacked like four or five times. It's crazy. And yet here Ethereum Classic is, it is pumping. Now look, I gotta be clear. Ethereum Classic, I am not bullish on at all, in case you can't tell, for a long-term investment or even a medium-term investment. Now, if you want to trade some Ethereum Classic, well, you trade that stuff up, son, go get it, go get it. But you have to understand why it's actually pumping. And what I think is that Ethereum Classic is just one of those randomly grandfathered in coins that made it onto certain platforms. And so we've seen, for example, Robinhood pumping uh, these coins where you have the Robinhood crowd come in and pump coins massively. 
So we saw them come in and pump Dogecoin like crazy, right? The whole Dogecoin's going to a dollar thing. Well, Dogecoin's getting not that far off these days, but where did this come from? It comes from these groups that are hyping these coins up and pumping them up. Now, Robinhood doesn't list very many coins. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Ethereum Classic, and Litecoin, and Litecoin. So my uh, theory here is that if Ethereum Classic can pump, come on, Litecoin, come on, you can get a pump too. Come on, Big Daddy needs a Litecoin pump. Oh, let's go. Actually, I've got my um, sale order in for Litecoin at $997, which is you know about a 4x from the current price. And if Dogecoin can pump like that, and if Ethereum Classic can pump like that, Litecoin can do it too. <laughs> anyway, anyway, those are just my five coins that I am watching in the month of May for some good old-fashioned price action. What about you? What is the one coin that you think is going to perform above all else that's going to absolutely have a crazy, crazy pump in the month of May? Write it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and peace out till next time.